Poultry is a big business in South Carolina and uh, favorite food for many Americans. I'm Dr. Jeremy Zen, a microbiologist at Clemson University. My colleague and I, we are using nanotechnology to keep our birds and uh, consumer healthy. Chickens can uh, get diseases. An illness in a handful of uh, chicken can spread throughout the facility, housing thousands. Uh, for consumers, um, chicken can harbor many viruses, many bacteria, and uh, fungi, which do not cause illness in chicken, but however, do cause illness in human, uh, especially when the uh, chicken, when the bird is not properly uh, handled, uh, mishandled or undercooked uh, while being uh, doing food preparation. We have been looking for a drug-free alternative to using antibiotics in chicken feed. Uh, lately, my colleague and I, we have made significant progress uh, in using uh, nanotechnology to keep our uh, birds healthy. Nanotechnology is tiny science. Uh, we're using, uh, working with material, one one hundred thousandths of human hair. Uh, scientists have been using nanotechnology to uh, make better medicine, to uh, make faster computer, and to, heap, to keep our uh, fruit healthy. We have built nanoparticles that uh, lock to uh, pathogens, uh, disease-causing uh, pathogens. And when the uh, nanoparticle binds to the uh, pathogens, it causes the pathogen to aggregate and then allow them to pass through the uh, uh, chicken bowel. And uh, we call that uh, intelligent chicken feed. It will take more research and testing before the nanoparticle is ready to be used. But uh, in not so distant future, the lives of uh, a chicken and human, uh, we believe, will, will live a better life because of the uh, use of uh, intelligent chicken feed. Woo.